So we're going to be working on our saddle escapes. Uh, anytime when you find yourself in a saddle, obviously you're in a disadvantageous position. Uh, and one of the most important things is that when you're in that position, to relax and think. We're going to be going through a various array of escapes and also working on when you should be preparing to tap and when you don't really need to tap in that saddle position. It can be daunting at first, but once you understand the simple concepts, it becomes much easier to escape the saddle position. So, I'm going to start with Ben and we're going to start in the saddle position. So, when I'm locked in the saddle position, obviously one of the first attacks that Ben might go for is attacking my heel and going for the heel hook. And to do that, he needs access to my heel and access to that heel position. So, my goal straight away should be to hide my heel. And the easiest way to do that is for me to turn my heel in the opposite direction. So, at the moment, it's facing out and it's really easy to attack. The second I turn my heel in this direction, I start to hide it. But at the moment, my leg's bent. So it means that I've left my toe open to a toe strike. So if Ben strikes back on my toe, he re-exposes my heel, and he can take my heel again in that position. So I need to do two things. I need to shut down the toe strike, and I need to hide my heel. So coming back to this position, to hide my heel, I'm going to rotate my heel inwards. To hide from the toe strike, I'm going to point my toes and also lift my hips slightly off the floor. If my hips sit on the floor like this, my leg bends and it's open for that toe strike position. Up like this, I'm in a much better position and I can start to look to escaping my knee from the knee line. So I'm in this position like this. In an ideal world, if I was trying to escape, I'd be able to push on here, keep my legs straight and drive my knee past this knee line, and now I'm safe. But in general, that's not normally what happens. And so we've created a drill for this, okay? In this drill, I'm gonna practice my heel slip. I'm gonna heel slip, and Ben's gonna work with me. As I heel slip, he's frustrated, he can't attack my foot, so he drags my leg to the other side of the body and goes for an outside heel hook. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So this is just a really good drill to help warm up your legs and get you used to heel slipping and feeling comfortable in this position. So I start like this, Ben tries to attack my toe, and I hold it in really tight in this position, my hips up high. Ben can't get this, so he drags my leg across the body to an outside heel hook. If I leave my heel in this position, obviously I'm going to get heel hooked straight away. So if he captures my heel like this, I should almost be ready to tap. There's almost no escape. Before he does this, I need the heel slip. So he's going to attack my foot as he does. I rotate and I point my toe. So I'm here like this, still available for a toe strike because my leg is bent. To stop the toe strike, I point my toes and lift my hip off the floor, leaving my foot on the floor. Now I'm in this position, Ben's frustrated. He can't get this attack to work. So he drags my foot back onto the other side of the body. Back onto this side, I've got my toe pointed and now I put my hand on the knee and drive my knee past the knee line. One more time in real time. <laughs> 